Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's me, Tommy. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And today's video is going to be pretty much about a man goes off on his wife for not paying the mortgage. Now, these stage videos have to chill. <laughs> I hope they're staged. I don't know if they're staged, but I mean, these are just getting more and more out of hand, personally, in my opinion. Um, the Karen videos, the cheating videos. I hope to God they're all staged because if people actually act like this, we're in some serious shit. No, no matter what, this is life is just going to shit. This earth is going to shit if this is all true. <laughs> so let's just hope all these videos are uh, obviously fake. But hope you guys are all having a great day. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. It would truly help me out a lot. Now to sum up this kind of story before I play this video. This guy pretty much states that, hey, you know, why didn't you pay the mortgage? She apparently won out, bought like a Chanel bag, all this other bullshit. And she states that, oh, you know, I wanted to do something, you know, nice for myself. But listen, I get it. This is none of my business at the end of the day. No matter what anyone does with their money, it's really none of my business. But at the end of the day, when someone says, hey, you know, I wanted to do something nice for myself, this pretty much explains everything. This pretty much explains that you're irresponsible. You don't know what you're doing with your own self. And why would you do this to something that you actually live in? Material things like bags, chains, um, just bullshit. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what matters is your happiness and having a goddamn roof over your head. So that's just facts. But let's just get into this video. And I'll show you guys kind of what this wife is doing. She just is idiotic. She seems clueless. And like I said, hopefully these type of videos are fake. <laughs> I pray they are. I see a eviction notice on the front door. And look at my wife. Just seem to act like a home. Casually just packing stuff up while we getting put out. You mind telling me what happened? Yes. I bought the car sitting outside. Okay. I bought myself a Chanel bag. You bought yourself a Chanel bag, but you didn't pay for the mortgage? The lonely, slow music in the background, 100% is perfect for this type of video. <laughs> Explain pretty much the mute, the slow, depressing music just goes with this idiotic mindset that this wife has. <laughs> I bought the car outside. I bought the Chanel bag. I didn't pay for shit. I didn't pay for the electric bill, cable bill, nothing, especially the mortgage. But the car and the Chanel bag, man. <laughs> Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Did you really just sit here and tell me you bought a Chanel bag? Meanwhile, we were seven well, months behind all our mortgage. For who? Not for us? The next person's gonna live in this. Listen, you can go out. Let me just say this. She says the lights are still on. You don't have to pay an electric bill. You can be a little late on an electric bill. I mean, sooner or later, they're going to shut you off, obviously. But they ain't going to come take your motherfucking house. <laughs> I mean, you, like, is it good? Listen, is it good to be late for an electric bill? No, pay your bills on time. I, but listen, the mortgage, what I'm trying to say is kind of the less of the evils, if you get what I'm saying. The mortgage is way more important than the electric bill. Usually electric companies, we have... Atlantic City Electric out here. I know um, other places, PSNG. I don't know where um, other maybe electric companies are at, but that's pretty much around my area. But usually they'll work with you. They'll call you. They'll, they'll bug you a little bit. They'll work with you. But the mortgage companies, they don't fuck around. They, the banks want their money. They will come over, slap that eviction notice on your door until you pay their shit. And they will just keep calling and calling and calling until you pay your shit. That's just a matter of the fact. I mean, that's just not common. I mean, everyone knows this. It's common sense. It's not any new news. So, yeah, very irresponsible. That doesn't serve us any good. You watch TV, there's a remote. Where am I going to watch TV at? Outside, on the street? You really sit here and act like ain't nothing going wrong and it's not a big deal. And we're literally getting put out of our house. Do you forget how hard we work for this house? I saved for years to put even a, a down payment on this house. And the more of the story is, guys, do not share any of your banking information with your loved one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen, people do it all the time. I mean, if you share your bank, let me take that back. If you share your banking information with your wife, I wouldn't do it with a girlfriend. I wouldn't do it anything unless if you're married. So obviously these people are married, but this is also this dude's fault for just, he just seems like he's 
not paying attention to anything that she's doing. Like, why doesn't this guy look at any of his fucking bank statements? Like, first of all, if you see that she goes and buys a car, that's that's a pretty big transaction. I, I assume some sort of down payment is going to be in a bank statement. That's when maybe you should address it, not just wait until you're fucking seven months late. Now, listen, he might have addressed it. Who the hell knows? But I would say it's this guy's fault, too. I wouldn't say, yeah, don't get me wrong, the wife is idiotic. But it seems like the husband is pretty goddamn idiotic, too. Look at your bank statements. Pay attention to what's going on. Stop being blind, goddammit. I trusted you with my money. I don't care about that. Take it back. I don't want anything. I want my house. I cannot believe this. And you just acting like ain't nothing wrong right now. Oh, my God. Like, are you kidding me? No, I want my house. But this is how I feel like this stage, like the depressing music. The, why are you recording this? <laughs> like, first of all, why would you want people to know that you're losing your house? That's just fucking dumb. <laughs> like, keep this. This is some shit you don't put out in your life. And this is one of them. Like, keep this shit to yourself. Don't let the whole world know this. Like, everyone's just going to fucking laugh at you. <laughs> Especially with this dumbass music in the background. And you're just making your wife just even look way, 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 way more worse. Worse than the situation actually is. This is. <laughs> it's got to be staged. I hope this is staged. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if, if it's not. Because people these days are fucking lunatics. Where? Where? Not this one. This is the, this is the house that I want. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to say, son. This is the house that you wanted. And it's gone. <laughs> like, the real question I want to know is, too, is like, where is she packing to? And in the video, she brought up, like, oh, you know, there's the TV remote. Like, what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want him to do? Just, you know, go watch TV and just ignore everything? Um, yeah, but first of all, there's no way you have no clue. And this kind of goes back to, like, what I said about looking at the two bank statements. There's no way you have no clue that you're seven months behind on your mortgage. I, like you could be two days late on like a credit card and they let and they leave like five fucking messages kind of goes back to what I said like if you don't pay your mortgage they're gonna bug the shit out of you compared to a stupid electric bill they'll work with you the electric companies are totally different than banks you know um I don't know this this video is just I, I hope it's fake because the music the fucking recording just acting like just a complete utterly idiot just proves to me that um it, it has to be fake right you would think so i mean like i said people you gotta chill with these stage videos you know don't put even if it's real don't go out of your way to put like your privacy out there that's one thing i can't stand you ever go on facebook instagram and people are always putting their shit online they put their whole fucking life online and you read some of it and you're just like Oh my God, like, why are you posting? There's some people, they post certain pictures, um, and you're just like, God damn, we are screwed. <laughs> we are freaking screwed. But um, this guy, if they're still together, I would love to know what part two behind this video, because I don't know exactly um, what ended up happening here. I hope it's fake, like I said, but... I assume that hopefully he doesn't let his wife, if they're still together, doesn't let her, you know, handle the finances because this woman, if this is real, just made you lose your whole fucking entire house. <laughs> the fucking TV remote. Oh, God. There's the TV remote. No, what did he say? He said, what am I going to do? Shit, there's the TV remote over there. <laughs> Talk about a fucking slap right in the face. I'm not going to pay your mortgage. I'm going to buy the car outside, though. Um, people are just so irresponsible with money, man. And then they wonder why they get put in these shitty situations. I always say, guys, if you guys can avoid any sort of debt, car payments, credit cards, you don't even have to make a gajillion dollars to get by. You'd be surprised just how much debt brings a person down. You could make $40,000 a year, even $30,000 a year, and not be in any debt and live a really good life. You'd be surprised. People don't believe that when I say that, but it's the God's honest truth. You could make that a little amount of money and not be in any debt, and your life could be perfectly fine. But people just want to buy shit that they don't have and... 
it's it's very frustrating you know take that advice guys if you don't have the money to buy something don't fucking buy it like i <laughs> it's not that hard to understand that if you don't have the money to buy something don't buy it save yourself the time save yourself the energy and that's just a little bit of my two cents but i hope you guys really do enjoy this video let me know what you guys think about this fucking relationship to me it's just a big fat joke hopefully it's fake i pray to god it's fake until next time guys until we meet again peace